Hello YouTubers, this is Kathy with Living Miracle Homestead and I just thought I'd show you a few things going on. So check out this macadamia nut. It is growing like leaps and bounds. I'm so excited. Huh? Very, very happy that's growing so quickly. Hopefully, one of these days we'll have a piece of property to put it in. I don't know, I told David he should take it and plant it at his house. But we'll see what we do with it. I don't know. But it's growing nicely. So over here, I am raking up all my mango leaves and breaking up the limbs to put them down in that bed over there that I started. So I got a pretty good amount of leaves here. Not as many as I want, but nice anyways to have these. This is crazy. Everywhere I look in the yard, I find another lychee tree. <laughs> so this is the pile over on this side. Taking a little break here. I uh, got it out from over there. And over underneath these trees. And of course, that's not a tree, that's a staghorn. <laughs> Just sitting on the ground, pretty as you please. It's amazing how it grows like that. That one does too. It got too heavy for the things that they were in and I figured if they were too heavy for them, they were too heavy for hanging in the tree. So I just let them be. Well, I thought I'd uh, share this with you. One of my orchids is starting to bloom out. Very, very pretty one. I love purple if y'all don't know that. Even though a lot of these are spent out right here, they've got more popping up and even one over there by the front door. <laughs> but I think this is so gorgeous. The little purple on the end, just absolutely beautiful bromeliad. Good morning, folks. It's Saturday morning. I know you've seen some stuff from yesterday, but uh, today, I am going to be trimming some of this uh, mango tree back. Let me show you this. I'm gonna be cutting some of that off the road. And up in here, I got, well, that one's hanging, but up in here, there are dead limbs. See them limbs? Okay, so this is what I want to cut all this dead stuff right here off. There is more up there, but I don't think I can, I don't know if I can get up there and get that. But see, I got that one there. I got to get that one too, right there. So I got a lot to cut. Bring you back. Well, this will be the last time you see it this big because we're cutting it way back. My arms are a little tired, so give it a Cutting it all off so that we don't have to worry about people uh, stealing fruit um, and me getting angry. <laughs> uh, somehow, some way, we're gonna find. I may even put a uh, uh, wire down through there to keep people from being able to cross through. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but at least this is getting done. So I pulled these over and check this out. This is big enough to be a tree on its own. Too bad they won't root. Look how huge that is. That was what was hanging over. So it is what it is. I'm a little heartbroken because I really love the fullness and the beauty of that tree. But I think this will give me better peace of mind it uh, shapes it up a little bit better. I'm going to take a few limbs off down there. Okay, so the idea is to get these uh, limbs as chopped as much as possible. And here's one that I will not be putting in there because of the... I don't know, it just looks like maybe... I don't know. 
it looks like it has a lot of bug damage, but I, it really doesn't look like it's got any bugs in it right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna fill this up and then I'm gonna put that dirt back in here. Okay, so I'm adding a feature to my uh, raised beds. I'm taking these long limbs and putting them at the end so that things don't slide out as easily. Water can go out and seep out from underneath those logs and uh, they'll still deteriorate the big logs, but that's how I'm gonna do it this time. I think that's pretty good. I'm also stepping in here and squashing all this down as much as I can so that it will take some of those leaves um, over there. I, I know I put leaves underneath the bottom and I've got leaves over there underneath the tree, but if I don't have enough leaves that I think I need, I'm gonna take some of them leaves over there and I'm gonna put the rest of this because I think I've got about enough in here. Need to get some down there on the end, but um, I'm gonna empty some of those leaves that are starting to compost down over there if I don't get enough over here before I put this dirt back in on top. And that's what I'm gonna do. Well, folks, I had to call it a day. I got a little overheated and um, we needed to come in for to eat and everything and um and also david had to go home so i just called it a day i'm going to finish uh working on that tomorrow um and i have a little sneaky thing i went over my girlfriend's today and i had an awesome find in her backyard again sherry has a lot of stuff that i can forage for just saying so i'll bring bringing you that video probably tomorrow and i'll put that at the beginning of what i'm going to finish doing this bed with tomorrow and hopefully i can finish up that bed tomorrow but we'll see so anyways thank you for watching don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe and we'll see you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.